What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we finally me, uh, reached Lumioi's town, I think, or Lumio City. Yeah, we were just in the Pokemon Center, and now it is finally time for us to go straight to the Professor because, well, there, there, there are things that we need to do. So let's go right ahead and go inside and see what, uh, what this is all about right here. So, look at this. We're in here, and she's like, you've traveled a long way from Vanderville, uh, Vanderville Town, but you're all finally here. The professor can't wait to meet you. You can find him in the third floor, so hop in the elevator. Whatever you say. Okay, so let's go right in to the elevator. And, well, before we go into the third floor, let's go into the second one. I, I, I kind of want to talk to people, grab some free stuff. You know, we, we always love some free stuff. Ain't that right? Talk to this person. Uh, yes, we will be getting ourselves some luxury balls, which is always great. And then, well, if you talk to this guy right here, he's going to be talking about uh, evolution stoppage and whatnot, not whatnot. And, well, we got people talking about genders. And each Pokemon has a mysterious power called ability. Some abilities have effects during a battle, and some have effects in, in on the field. All right, cool. And then there's this little girl. She's like, I heard it, that a TV and a washing machine are necessary for research on a certain Pokemon. Must be talking about Rotom. And, oh, fighting completely in sync with my Pokemon gives me the chills. Also a great thing, I think. I, I, I don't know. I'm developing a tool that will help my research. It's pretty uh, difficult work. Please wait patiently until it's completed. Hmm, I wonder what kind of work that is. Okay. Let's go into the third floor and see what we got here and well once we step inside the third floor professor sycamore is waiting for us look at this guy so we finally meet yeah the guy that's been hitting on your mom has just been waiting for you fantastic you're here come this way won't you yeah okay so let's 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 get over here talk to this guy many thanks for coming all the way to vanderville town I'm Professor Sycamore. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. How is your Pokemon journey going so far? Have you met many different Pokemon? Fantastic. Let me have a quick look at your Pokedex and see. Hmm. So you've only seen 36 kinds of Pokemon in the Central Kalos. Okay. <laughs> the, f the pages are getting filled in. It's starting to look good. Well, now, do you... Uh, you do have a certain je ne sais quoi. I have a good feeling about you. At first, I was thinking of choosing only one child from the town when I was deciding to who, uh, who to give a Pokemon to. In Vanderville Town, it was uh, it was going to be the child of a veteran trainer, I know. And then I learned that the Rhyhorn Racer, Grace, and her son were moving here. Here in uh, the Kalos region, you're far away from everything you used to know. And that really hit and that really hit me right th right here. Then it hit me, and I should give you a Pokemon that you should travel around Kalos. Well, and here comes the uh, the Pokemon Rangers themselves. Hi, Professor. It's Shauna. And here we have the two ladies. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Fantastic. Now let's uh let's all have a Pokemon battle. Your opponent shall be me. Alrighty. Bring it on. I'm not afraid. If you guys remember, in the last episode too, we managed to get ourselves a, a new Pokemon, Bebe. And what is going to happen right here is we're going to be battling Professor Sycamore and his three starter Pokemon from Kanto. So the good thing is we started off with Star Fox right here. And, well, let's go with a, fi a Flame Charge. So there you go. Look at this. This Pokemon is charging it. And bam, Bulbasaur is no more. Oh, poor Bulbasaur. Didn't deserve that, but, you know, we had to do it. And, well... This person is going to be coming up with a Squirtle, so let's go with Aaliyah. See what the, see what happens here. Alrighty. Okay. So here's Aaliyah sending out a Squirtle, and well, let's go right ahead and go straight for a Thundershock attack right here. As you guys can see, a Thundershock does something, but here comes a Tail Whip. Definitely not liking that. Holy buckets. Okay, so let's go. Thundershock for the win. And just like that, Squirtle has been defeated. And, well, more experience points for all our Pokemon. And here comes my favorite Pokemon, Charmander. Let's continue on with Leah. Alrighty, Charmander, how's it going? Let's go with a Thundershock. See how that fits. 
And, ooh, this Charmander is about to scratch me right in the face. Holy buckets. Okay. Let's go again. Another Thundershock. And Charmander is, like, resilient. So it is paralyzed. Here comes a scratch attack. And, well, let's go. Finish it off one last time. A Thundershock for Aaliyah. And there you go. Charmander has been defeated. Alrighty, okay, and, well, Hurricane without doing anything, yes. And Star Fox, learning Psybeam, okay, so this one is new. As you guys can see, Psybeam, it's a lot powerful, let's see. Well, Star Fox is not the most powerful uh, physical Pokemon, but yet we're going to be switching it out with a move that it, it actually it actually learn, and Bebe, doing nothing and growing levels. And there you go, Professor Sycamore has been defeated, and I'm throwing out the yes. Alrighty, okay. So, Professor Sycamore is going to be like, I think I figured it out. Figured what out? Draven, you are in, an interesting Pokemon uh, trainer indeed. It'd be fantastic if you looked after, if you took another Pokemon with you. Here, pick one. So, once you have defeated Professor Sycamore, you will be able to get yourself a Kanto starter. As you guys can see, you got Charmander, the fire type. You got Bulbasaur, the grass type. And you got Squirtle, the water type. Now, funny thing is, guys, X and Y. Whatever Pokemon you get, you will get their Mega Evolutionary Stone. But with Charmander, you will be get, you will be able to get one of two stones, the the Charizard I X or the Charizard I Y, depending on the version that you're, that you're picking. So, the decision will be made easily, guys, because I'm currently playing Pokemon X again. And I got myself, uh, what was it called? Um, well, I already got so many Charmanders, okay? Especially with, what's his name? Yeah, especially with uh, Godzilla Godzilla from uh, our last generate or our last walkthrough in Pokemon X. And the current Pokemon X that I'm playing, we already got Squirtle, we already got Charmander, so let's go right ahead and pick the most unpopular Pokemon, but the most useful one, Bulbasaur. Okay, there it is, guys. We got ourselves a Bulbasaur. And would you like to give a nickname? Yes, I would like to give this Pokemon a nickname. Everybody, say hello to Dubasaur. Nickname after a friend, a good friend of mine. Well, from her trail, uh from her Twitter handle, so shout out to you, Sonny. There we go. Dubasar. And well, so you decided its nickname will be Dubasaur, yes. Since you chose Bulbasaur, I will give you this Mega Stone, and here it is, guys. We get ourselves the Venusaurite. I think that's how I, uh, I, I think I said that right. Yes. And come on, the two of you pick a Pokemon, and well, I don't know what Pokemon they they, they select because it it's never proven afterwards but here's professor sycamore he's, he's gonna be like well i've got a feeling everyone else will show, show up soon and here are the other uh the other pokemon rangers hi professor sycamore what's this everyone is already here see wonderful everyone's all here so now that we're all here i'd like to say a few words be the best trainer you can be. At the same time, remember to have fun traveling with your Pokemon. Also, I want to ask you for help in solving the Kalos region's biggest mystery and the secret and the potential of Mega Evolution, a new kind of evolution that occurs during battle. That's why I gave you that Mega Stone just now. It's an important clue. Mega Evolution? What should we do with that po with that Pokedex? Trevor, my lad, if that's what the best trainer means to you, then I want you to go out there and complete that Pokedex. Mega Evolution sounds really interesting. If you're investigating Mega Evolution, why don't you check out Campfire Town? That town has a lot of history. You might find a hint there. Now listen, if you visit many different places to complete the Pokedex, you will probably see Pokemon with many ways of living and, and meet people with many ways of thinking. First, accept the ways of living and thinking and sometimes that sometimes conflict with your own. And think about what's really important. This is truly, uh, this will truly broaden your horizons. I feel that being uh, different from uh, others makes me special. Mastery Mega Evolution will definitely set me apart from other trainers. That is true, I think. Maybe. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Dubasaur. Of course, as many of you guys already know, this Pokemon is not going to be on my team very long because, well... I got plans. And we needed a Dubasaur. 
and uh, we needed the grass type uh, Pokemon in the other one. If you guys know what I'm talking about. But here it is, Dubasaur, the grass and poison type Pokemon. Because of its nature, which is a rash nature, its special attack is through the roof while its special defense is going to take a hit. It already has two of its uh, elemental, elemental attacks in Leech Seed and Vine Whip. And then it comes with Tackle and Growl. In six levels, it will evolve into Venusaur. I think off screen, I need to be trading this Pokemon. Or, you know, what I'm trying to do here, guys, is I'm trying to complete the Pokedexes in all the 3DS games before we start going into, like, the bigger games. Like in the Nintendo Switch and all that stuff. That is why I cannot wait to start breeding Pokemon, sending them over to X and Y, completing this Pokedex. So if you guys start seeing some different Pokemon in my thing, you'll know why. Now, we're in the first floor, and this guy's like, so, I will be able to meet them soon then. Yes. The children chosen by the professor. I wonder what potential they have. And here's one of them now. That's Draven. Draven, come here a sec. Well, look at this. We're looking at Akuma in a fancy way. Oh, so you, oh, you, so, or you received a Pokedex from the professor then. How wonderful. That is a wonderful thing indeed. You are one of the chosen ones. I am Lissandre. I've tried to learn as much about Pokemon as I can to help build a brighter future. Professor Sycamore has taught me so much. Oh, I see you have a Holocaster. Knowledge is power after all. Put it to good use. Now listen. It is, a vital, it is vital that this world become a better place. And the people in the Pokemon chosen to make the world a better, uh, better must work tirelessly to achieve this goal. Well, I'll be off. Please give Professor Sycamore my best. My desire, it is, more, it, it is a more beautiful world. My desire is, uh, well, I don't know how, how to get hair like that. Still, I wonder what kind of beautiful world Alessandre desires. In this great big Kalos region, there are many different Pokemon. I hope getting a Pokedex gives you a chance to learn about them. Probably. Okay, so a few things that we're going to be completing right here, guys. The Pokemon Rangers. They're going to be coming up to us and being like, Sensei, there's a place I want you to check out. So I'll see you there. Okay. And there's something I want to talk to you about. <coughs> talk to you about. I'll be waiting for you in the Cafe Soleil. Neighbor. Okay. I wonder what kind of, I wonder what Serena wants to talk about. Why couldn't she just use the holocaster? No clue, but it seems like hush hush. I am curious about what's going on, but we should probably stay out of it. <laughs> you guys are left out. Hey Sensei, to get to Campfire Town, leave this left or leave this lab, turn left and go straight. The Cafe Soleil Serena was talking about is over there. Okay. So we're gonna be finishing off this episode with those two things, okay? So, stepping outside the lab, the two the two guys right here are going to be like, Lumio City may be very large, but if, if you stay in the main streets, you shouldn't get lost. I'm going to go for a, on a little walk on the streets. Sure, I'll wind and wander here. Okay. Oh, just so you know, Campfire Town and Cafe Soleil are over there. Okay. I am going to go to my two female friends because they need me. All right, what is it? Sensei, check this out. You can make the trainer v uh you can make the trainer PR videos here. It's called the PR Video Studio. Making my own PR video, it's like a dream come true. They can make a quick video for you, or you can edit your own masterpiece. I'll put my my heart into those 10 seconds and put them out there for the world to see. Yeah. I don't know about that, but this this is uh this is this is something. So you do have to come in here. And you are forced to make a VR video. So while we're talking, I'm just going to be like, well, there is no reason for this. I'm just going to keep on picking. And there it is. We're doing this. And, well, would you look at that? Let's go ahead and take a look at this video. This is embarrassing, guys. This is very embarrassing. Look at this. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. It's Draven. Come on, then. Here I go. I'm just, oh my god, I'm not gonna restart this. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, yeah, n yeah. I, why this was done, I, n yeah. And as you know, a, a, you know, real life person as me, I would never go ahead and do this. So I'm gonna just, uh, yes, okay, cool. This is, yes, got it. Sounds like a plan. Save this video, okay. And we are never coming back here now. Before you leave, 
go ahead and talk to this lady. And she's going to be like, wow, you really might be just something. I thought my eyes might fall out of my head watching you. Here, you deserve this. And there you go, guys. We got ourselves a lens case. And, well, that right there will enable us to change our contact lenses whenever we want. And uh, that is the end of that right there. All right, so the next place is Cafe Soleil. We need to find our girlfriend, Serena. And, well, there she is, looking beautiful as always. All right, I'm here, baby. Could you come here for a second? Whatever you say, baby. All right, get off these rollerblades. Walk in here. And, well, coming in here, we, we have some creepy-sounding music, and, he's, and, and it's Lissandre. Oh, it's Lissandre and Diantha. Just so you know, neighbor, Lissandre is the head of the Lissandre Labs, which created a Holocaster, a video messaging device. You already know who Diantha is, right? She is one of the most famous movie stars in the world, after all. I wonder what the two of them are doing here together. I, I, I don't know. This is kind of odd myself. You played a young girl so wonderfully in your debut on the silver screen. Wouldn't you rather remain young and beautiful forever and always play such roles? What a strange question. Why, why would I want to play the same old roles forever? Youth may be beautiful, but it's not all there. It, it's not all, all there is to life. Everything changes. I want to live and change like that too. So I look forward to playing different roles as I get older. You were chosen to be a movie star, correct? Isn't it? Isn't it your duty to be ever beautiful? Everything beautiful should stay the the way forever. I would end the world in a in an instant so that beauty ne never lies. I can't stand the thought of the world becoming uglier. Oh, hello, Draven. This is Deanta, one of the most accomplished movie stars in Kalos. She moves the mo the multitudes with her excellent acting, which is to say, she dedicates her life to making other people happy. Oh, if only everyone were like her. What a beautiful world this would be. If you'll excuse me. He is one odd individual. This guy just walks like... Oh my god, there's something to him. And who are you two? My name is Serena and this is... Draven, right? I heard Lissandre call you that. You both have lovely names. Oh, and you're both trainers. Don't your Pokemon look happy? I'm a trainer myself in my off time. I look forward to us battling someday. Okay. Hmm, I guess if you're a Pokemon trainer, so you battle everyone, and no matter who they are. Oh, that's right, I have something to ask you, neighbor. Would you be willing to compete with me to see which one will become stronger? I know we set off on our journey just after you arrived in Vanderville, but we are neighbors and I think, I think it would be fun. Hold on just a sec. I am getting a text. Oh, you know what, screw it. Uh, I think it would be fun to competition with you. Just so you know, I won't lose, though. Huh. Okay, so she won't lose. And the one thing we need to do now is once we get to the Route 5 entrance right here, we're going to get a message, and it is going to be from Tierno himself. He's like, so check this out. I'm out on Route 5 right now, and it's hopping with wild Pokemon. Hurry and come and check it out. Huh. Okay. Alrighty. So... That is pretty much it right there, guys. We're gonna we're gonna save the next episode, Route Five and everything for the next episode. Just want to say thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. See you guys.